First up is the T-Con board. Uh, we are gonna wanna get these clips and things removed first. This is gonna be similar style to what was on the main board. Just gonna depress the clip, unlatches, and then just walk that away from the board. This one's gonna have a button on the right and left side that we wanna push in, and it comes right out. Same thing with this guy. Now we are gonna wanna do a little bit of uh, management here with our cables. Uh, we wanna get some of this tape up and out of the way. It's gonna make our lives a lot easier. Uh, first thing, let's get this unclipped. Deal with these wires. We're gonna get this speaker cable unclipped here. It's got a little latch on it. Just depress it, push that down. We're gonna get this tape up as well. After that goes, we are going to move on to the main T-Con here. Uh, all the wires and things like that. Like I said, we are gonna wanna get those out of the way. It's gonna make things a lot simpler. First things first with this uh, um, little cable here that's running to the Wi-Fi board. Just to get that popped off of there. Do be gentle with it. These can be fragile. We're gonna get some of this tape up next. We're gonna pull off the IR sensor and the um, Wi-Fi chip here. We're gonna get these disconnected and this will also make things a lot easier. This just lifts up. I wanna make sure we're not losing any pieces there. It doesn't look like it. This clip right here, just wanna depress it with our thumbnail. Pops right out. Flip it over. There's gonna be another smaller one right here. Same thing. Depress it with your thumbnail. Pop it right out. We can set this off to the side now. We've got a little bit more space to play with this T-Con board. Next, we are going to get the silver screws removed here from this plate that is covering the T-Con board so we can actually access the board itself. After we get those out, should be able to gently pull this shielding up and away. We don't wanna to get too much of the T-Con with it in case there are any LVDS cables or anything like that connected to it. We don't wanna pull those or jar those in any way. Just drop the board off of here. It's probably stuck on there with some adhesive, which is there and there on the actual plating here. Set that off to the side. Now we just have these two ribbon cable connections. We just slide our fingernail up underneath that flap, pop it up, pop it up. They come right out and our T-Con's free. Last up is the main board. We're gonna wanna get this plastic piece off set it off to the side. Now we're gonna to wanna to get these clips removed. This guy right here just comes right out, little micro USB. This guy's gonna have two pieces that you push down on the right and left side, which releases the latches. Should just come away from the board. And if you're having issues where one side's coming out and the other side isn't, just replug it back in and then try one more time. This one's gonna have a clip on uh, the back of it. You just use your thumbnail to depress it. Just pull it right out. Same thing with this guy, it's gonna have this large flap on the top, so use your thumbnail to push it down. If you need to, you can remove this piece of tape here, but I think we should be okay here today. This one, uh, LVDS cables one and two right here. We're gonna to wanna to push down on the two plastic tabs on the right and left side, and then pull that right away from the board. After that, we should just have a handful of screws and this should be coming up. This input right here is a separate board. It'll just come away. We can lay that off to the side. I do believe that's gonna do it for screws. I feel like there is a little bit of adhesive. All of these white pieces right here, keeping the board uh, fixed to the chassis. And that's it for the main board.